Hey Geeks, welcome to another edition of Geek Culture Unboxing. Today we have artwork for you to show. We have Jim Ferguson's uh, Making a Scene books. I've heard that guy. You've heard that guy? He's done pretty good artwork. We met him uh, about three years ago at a show here in town, and we've been a fan of his work ever since. Can you see what he's done? Yeah, yeah. Mr. Yeah. Ferguson, uh, Mr. Ferguson also has these books for each one of the years, 2015, 13, and 12. These are great books. Which are a collection of some of his paintings. He has so many paintings, but these are a collection of some of his paintings. We'll let you go ahead and... Uh, a lot. They're really nice. He even gives you like a little preview on the sides. Mm -hmm. yeah, with the outside, so yeah. just a... Uh, Oh, nice. He signed it, and it's edition 228 of 500. I'm curious. Let's open up the, the rest yeah. of them. And see That's what pretty we have. good. That's at least a Ooh, lower. Yeah, they're different. One. 154. 154. And 118. 118. And the lowest one. Yeah, those are real prints. Yeah, it's I mean, a real are, autograph. Yeah, it's it's real. Like Facsimile or anything like that. So yeah. all of them are limited to, well, his autograph with that is limited to 500. So that's pretty nice. And it's just, Thanks, Jim. Well. Back to the Future yeah. and Doctor Who. Who? Melt your brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, low pan. <laughs> now see, nice. this is one of the times where I have uh, I have this autograph by James Hong, and I had picked it up at uh, the Austin Wizard World. So I had bought I had bought it from James, and he had signed it. And uh, I think we had given away one of those too. You got Die yeah. Hard. Come down to the coast. We get together. Yes. Love the Saints. Is, okay. Do not sinks. Mm -hmm. Terminator. Nice. That's a good one, though. Blue Velvet. Ooh, that's an old one there. Hey, Close Stranger Things? No. No, no. Close Encounters are toys. Close, close but encounters. I, because, of, because of the trailer. The new trailer for <laughs> oh, Stranger yeah. Things. Sorry. He needs to make those. Hey. Candy Bar! <laughs> Little Shop of Horrors. I love it. The Conan. Conan, yeah, those are awesome, though. Yeah, yeah the Warrior one, those are good. See, and usually at the shows, I believe his prints are $15. So if you know if you don't want to spend $15 to pick up all the different prints you want, you can pick up one of his Making a Scene books. Uh, I believe they're $40 at the show, if I remember right. I think so. Good coffee book book. Yes. Good yeah. coffee book. Sorry. Yeah, a good art book for your coffee. Fight Club. Club. Fight Club. Cigarette Burn. Ghostbusters. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. Just a lot of cool stuff from all the, you know, all the different the Goonies. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So let's crack open the 2013. Go ahead, Rachel. <clears throat> you know what I noticed? Open up. They're color coded. The signature. The signature. Hey, he picked it up from McFarland. <laughs> Faster, quicker. Hey, aliens! All right. And Walking Dead. Nice. Merle. Let's see if he has the other aliens in there. I, I love that one. Yeah. I've always yeah, wanted to get awesome. that one. You didn't buy them? Nah. More about the future. Don't worry, you can buy it for me. No, I, I love that one. I think I bought that print, I just don't have it signed. Jack Burton? Who? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Cold Man. Cold Man. Yeah. Two Valerian, right? Yeah, that was a two both ones. Hey, Copper Corn. I thought so, I saw the dudes in white. Multi pass. Multi pass. <laughs> I had that from the, the loot crate. Do you guys have that? No. Nah. Yeah. Hey, yes! Sweet <laughs> Flash Gordon, baby! <laughs> They're remaking that. Who did they say was going to be the crow? Another crow. Yeah, oh, another crow. I don't know. Jaws? What? Here's a swimming with bow legged women. Lord of the Rings? Is it? Yeah. Okay. It's the second one. Alright. When they're on the tree, the end. You're not smoking this pipe. Lord of the Rings. Harry Anderson. And, uh, Princess Bride. Yeah, classic movie. A little bit of, of something for yes. everybody in there. You should be able to at least name like uh, sixteen candles. Hey. Hey. If you cannot name five pictures in the book, you're not a geek. Yeah, mm -hmm. pretty much. Yeah, and short circuit. Really, really no blow number at that. Oh, look at that. Star Wars, Ooh. Return of Jedi. Oh, and they're making out too. <laughs> Big Lebowski. Uh, Mark it zero. And he gets a lot of like the iconic scenes. You're the best. And then he gets, <laughs> <a lot> of, <laughs> <laughs> he gets a lot of, you know, those other scenes that aren't as appreciated, but when you see them, you know. The professional, right? That was Leo. Yeah. yeah. Now the airplane, John William Giggles. The autopilot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Yeah, and see, hey, that's, Time Bandits! Oh, that's a great movie. <laughs> and that's why I've been a fan of his work, is because of you know what Fiction. Rachel says. Is that the way he picks out certain scenes from the film? Yeah. Roger, Roger Rabbit. Rabbit. It's funny yeah. how everything else is look. It's like Art Deco and then the Roger Rabbit. Actually, actually, yeah. actually. Yeah. <laughs> and that speaks volumes about the artist's ability. Is that Lone's Ability? Jimbo. Sa- uh, Seven Samurai, right? Yeah. What is it? I can't. I can't see that part. Zoolander. God. That's a good variety. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's only the second one. We're still going to go through a couple more editions. Try not to go through all of them. Uh, go ahead, I'll here. This is 2014. Number 154. My big fingers, I can skip a few pages. <laughs> Help me out with that side on the what it says. Guy. The cable guy. Uh, all the screws. I don't remember that one. Oh. The abyss. Yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. But no, it's a mashup, because look. Adventure time. Uh-huh. Right. Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Also, he got a little something Plus some kind strange of with dad. Yeah, that was a good one. I still like it when he made the mashed potatoes, though. That was great. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, yes. Is that Simon and Simon? Good yeah. lord. What's wrong with Simon and Simon? <laughs> right? <laughs> Look at the Doctor Who, okay? Oh, Falling Down. Yeah, that was yes. great. Michael Douglas. That yeah. was great. What's that one over there? Is that Encino Man? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Is that Color of Magic? I've never seen it. I don't remember, seen that. I don't remember mm-hmm. that one. Too far. Mm-hmm. That one doesn't ring a bell. Gremlin did. There's another Ghostbuster one. That's a good. I like that one. Oh, uh, Firefly. Or Serenity. Yeah. Whichever one you want to call Is it. Is that Alan Tudyk? Yes. Yeah. Huh. He's coming to uh, Dallas Fan Expo. Ooh, that'd be good. He's actually, well, that's because of his show, though. Uh, Con Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's on Powerless, isn't he? Too? Yes, yes, yeah. he is. He's uh, the Wayne. Yeah. Oh, that's a good Wayne's one. Cousin. Wayne's cousin. Wayne's yeah. cousin, yeah. Oopah! Indiana Jones. Oh, Ah, uh, Miss David Bowie. Pee Wee! Pee Wee! And the Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Star Legend. Wars. Legend. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lord speaking Lord. of legend, Tim, Tim Curry. He's going to be at Dallas Fan Expo. Yeah. yeah. Rare appearance so, for him. Oh, oh, Flash Gordon. So that's another thing that fans could do if you wait, buy wait. Ted. Mark? Oh, it's the Ted. It's <laughs> just Ted. <laughs> if you buy these, these, uh, what do you want to call them? Anthologies? You want to, you know, comic table books? You yeah. can actually take these to cons. And have the uh, the artist sign them, or have them signed by the uh, the yeah, actors yes. in the movie. Yeah, because you know, there's a good there's a good mixture of both. Yeah, you know, Tombstone, yeah, I'll be your Uncle Barry. Mm-hmm. I love I love. I that was one. inverted. <laughs> I love that one. What was that over there? Lovely. True romance. Uh, uh, true romance. True romance. True romance. Okay, that's Wally. the good one. Yeah. Wally. Oh, Alice Cooper. Oh. And and then we'll let uh, John go through the last book. That's the last one. Okay. This is 2015, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bill and Ted. Meet Bill and Ted. Nice. And, and Ted. looking up John Wick 2, uh, they're saying that there's another Bill and Ted in the works. That's yeah. been wow. rumored for a while, though. Oh, the like, dirty dancing. God. Nobody puts baby in the corner. <laughs> I would have put that like, in the Looks like he's I putting his hand good. somewhere there pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mariachi? Desperado. Desperado. The first one. Oh, okay. Then this is no. This is the third one. No, this is the first one, right? No, it's Desperado. Yeah. No, it's Desperado. That's the first one, though, or the third no. one? No, the Desperado is the second one. No, no, the first one is the Mariachi. 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 This is the first one. That's good, though. Mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy. Dread. So that's you know a good coverage. He has going way back. Hey, Texas Chainsaw. Coming all the way up to current movies. Current, yeah. You have Guardians of the Galaxy in there. Halloween. He, he has changed his perspective over the years, and I know him because I remember when we first met him, a lot of fans, along with myself, had asked him, are you going to do this one? He's like, eh, I, I may get to it, may not. Remember that scene? Oh, yes. For the Twilight Zone? Yeah. yeah. That was crazy. Which one? Which one? Twilight, Twilight Zone, the big rabbit. Ah. Uh, Pennywise oh, is yeah. awesome. Because yeah. Tim Curry, and there you go. And yeah. there's a new one comes out this year, too, or later yeah. on. So what it seems like is he like he actually you know started to let hear the fans and the requests. Ooh, and smell of beer that. Smell of beer. Oh, the Kill Bill. <laughs> the Kill Bill. <laughs> that is a great one. Never a new story. Jeremiah. Is that the show Jeremiah or is that the a movie? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Rounders. Rounders was a good show. I think that I remember who was. Yeah. Godfather. 
Jabba. And the good thing about these books is like, again, imagine if you bought all these prints. Oh, like yeah, first, the cost at fifteen dollars a print. Yeah, Maybe there's that's about what like, fifty to fifty to one hundred prints per book. That's a lot of money. And then oh, you gotta figure out a way to display them. Either put them in a frame or put them all in one frame. Yeah. So when you have a coffee book, there you go. People can come it's over right. and be like, did you, did you see this painting? Yeah, he's covered up with you. And some sketches. Oh, coming soon. Nice. Oh, nice. Good, the bad, and the ugly. Yeah. Interesting movie. I saw that the other day for the first time. Oh, you ever seen it? Movie? No, I've never seen it. Wow. What's the, what's his name? The one he just died at the time. He was the ugly. Uh, I was telling him, Robert, in that scene, if you watch it where he's under where the train that he puts to cut, yeah, he did that. Oh, that was him. No, and then he almost died. That thing, Warriors hit his head. Uh, full Metal Jacket. Road War, yeah. The Muppets. The Muppets. The Big Lebowski. <laughs> so uh, we had posted on Instagram and Facebook. Uh, Mr. Ferguson was selling. Four books for seventy bucks, or you can pay twenty bucks a piece. I mean, I think that's a, a really great deal for all of the different prints that you get in there, the variety, and they come signed and a number yeah. edition of five hundred. That's yeah. really good. Yeah, that's not bad at all. I would have thought. I'm just. This is just saying it would have been neat if, like, let's say there's only five hundred. If every once out of one of these, he just signed in random. Well, like as a special one or something. One of the cool things that he does with some of these editions is he takes them. He go. He's out all these conventions. He takes them to the uh, the actors and he'll have them sign. But those oh, yeah. those are usually part of his Kickstarter campaign, and I think it's usually like the highest one. You know, yeah. if, you, if you commit to this one, you get an autograph full of a book full of autographs. I mean, man, you can't beat that. You don't yeah, have to go to the really convention. Cool. You don't buy tickets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that are, that right there that would cost you. Just you're looking at fifty bucks a pop on a signature, and all you had to do. I mean, just as an example, maybe you pay the two hundred. Pay two hundred bucks, you get a book with. Everybody, yeah. And then sadly, if people pass away and you yeah. can't get it, it's just... You now know. you already have it, you don't have to worry about it. And then we're already talking Fan Expo, uh, Tim Curry is going to be there. Tim Curry is already, you know, medically disabled. He's in a yeah. wheelchair and I think he's had a stroke. So, you know, when fans meet him, he may be able to sign, but he's not going to be doing much. So, yeah. you know, fans need to think about that going forward is I need to start hunting down autographs of, fan, of actors or or entertainers that aren't going to be with us much longer. The thing, well, going back as far as for that, when they when guys start getting older, <clears throat> the one that I met last year, and I was smart enough to do it because you could tell by the way he was, was Jeremy Bullock, the original Boba Fett from Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I was the maybe the fourth person in line to get his autograph, and it looked great. It looked awesome. Oh, Jeremy Bullock's autograph is beautiful. Yeah. But out throughout the course of a day at a convention, it wore down. Tell, yeah. It wore down. Like, That's like Stan Lee, man. Yeah. If you get Stan Lee like the first twenty autographs, nice sharp line, yeah. it looks beautiful. It's <laughs> After five hundred autographs, yeah, it looks just a little a bad. You know? And he stands up though. I mean, I'm sure at a certain point he goes to sit down. But Jeremy Bullock was there, standing there. He wanted. He said, uh, "Pictures included with this. Let's take a picture together. You want to hold up your stuff and everything." He was real nice. Talked to him for a couple of minutes. Didn't take up too much of his time though. Asked him a few questions. But yeah, he was really nice though. And I mean, but I have to admit, I did see an autograph from later on in the day. And as they say, you can see the difference. So fans be aware of that though. You know, don't wait till Sunday, you know, and it's towards the end. Or they're, they're down yeah. the road already there in their mind. Yeah. I was reading the forwards like by Sean Astin this one, James Hong, and then Peter and Angie Mayhew. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Jim's known throughout the convention circuit. He knows uh, numerous people, so. If you guys get a chance, pay attention for our posts online. Thank you, Mr. Ferguson, for these books. Next time, 